Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Total War Warhammer 2 in our Torox the Brass Bull campaign and we're getting very close to the end here. We need six more marks for ruination and we got six over here but we can't do the ritual just yet because our well you have to get it over over uh, over 10 well 10 or above so we just gonna go like take this out or something and we're not quite yet gonna do it either because I think I'm gonna get rid of the centigore maybe I don't know I haven't decided on the final like the final composition but I want to get this guy to rank 7 oh oh and these guys actually got to rank 7 already because to get the bonus from this, you need to have rank 7 or above. And um, I want to get the Gorgon and the Saigor to get to level 7. Actually, to the Saigor. Oh, Saigor actually doesn't get anything from this, but the Gorgon do. So we kind of want the Gorgon to get there. Yeah, so. We're just gonna meet up, since I haven't decided what the final composition of our arm is gonna look like, but we might bring this over. Oh right, and we also have a Regiment of Renown in the Vestigore herd. Although maybe it doesn't matter at all and we should just... Just go with what we have. Maybe that's just how we should do it. I mean, the Centigore's been with us for so long. Maybe it's just right to keep it. Because they've, they've done good. And it's nice to have something a little bit more well, especially since we're gonna fight a lot of skinks. Uh, yeah, let's get the leadership. Because, well. Skinks are kind of mobile, so it, can, it would probably be nice to have uh, to have some mobility. Because we're probably just gonna throw all of these in as a mosh pit and just have them go ham on all of the skinks. Oh, you have a bunch of skill points. Get that too. So how much XP do you need? Doesn't it say? It should say. I don't know how much that is. How much did this give each turn? Oh, 25, so nothing. Oh uh, yeah, maybe we just... Maybe we just go... Oh! The heart of the dark Shit's happening. Ever nearer. Torox leads his raging beast kin onwards, craving the eternal rampage promised to him. Hungry to slaughter all who dare stand in their way. Yeah, so I think we're just gonna go. Your supremacy is now Go away. Go back into your box, old man. Okay, so we can do this now. Oh, we're fighting the Shadow Gave? I thought we were gonna fight Oxyodl. Is he gonna come too? Annoying that we're gonna fight. Chaos Spawn because they're unbreakable, so I don't know how the Jabber Slythe works against them because I don't remember if they just don't run even though their leadership is zero or if there's their leadership can't change. I don't remember. But everything else is not that bad. I'm guessing Oxyodl will come and hang out. Right. Um, go into encampment. Because we're we're gonna get the replenishment first. 
And then I think we're just gonna jump into the fight. I don't see a point continuing. As, well, continue, I mean, like drag this out because, oh, hello. We already did this, so you're, it's fine. And let's do nothing because we're not gonna recruit anything. Okay, so before we do anything, is there any of these we want to recruit? I guess these would be... No, they're actually... Oh yeah, they're a little bit better. Oh. Hey, way more armor. Yeah, so I guess we just exchange this for that. Anything else? I guess... I guess this is better than <laughs> the cycle we have as well. And I'm pretty sure this is better as well. Well... I mean... There's more leadership. A little bit more melee attack, one more weapon strength, and the charge bonus is, is better. But the melee defense makes them so much better in holding the line, so yeah, let's get that. And I guess we'll do this. That's fine. Oh. That's fine. So, can we do the quest with the... Oh, wait. Well, that's a... That's an old quest, I guess. No, wait. There's two turns to complete it, so... It's not a very old quest. And we have to... Do it like that. Now we can teleport. So, yeah, let's see what happens. I, I still find it weird that we're fighting Mur uh, Morger. But... I, I I think Oxiado will come because... I mean... That's half the point of this campaign to get find the like ultimate Hearthstone and then fight Oxiado over it. So I think we're gonna fight Morger, and then Oxyodel is gonna sneak attack us, like the sneaky skink he is. Sneaky skink. That sneaks. Oh, right. Cinematics. You must not take me happy. You lose my happy as I steal it. Text is coming out really weird. Like it moves around a lot. I feel like they could have done that smoother. Like that. That looks way better. Per. <laughs> Well, it's a cool looking map. I like the look of this. This looks awesome. Oh, oh, far back. Oh, you're gonna have to run up there. Yeah, so. Okay, wait. We haven't used these at all. Deal severe damage upon expiry. Okay, so this is a buff for one of our units to make them like crazy good. But it hurts them a lot when it's done and greatly depletes ammunition and reduces the range. So um can we hit both Cygors? Yeah. 
So ruin the range, I guess. And then everyone, let's move up. Yeah, look at that. That's some weak ass range. So minotaurs, get into those hounds. Those, those are gonna melt. And get in there. Good stuff. Keep moving up. Cygor can stand there and throw things. Yeah, so those are done. Get into those hounds. So she's just gonna melt away. Oh, um, let's get some great weapons in, right, oh, um, that, let's just pop everything. Crater can, like so. You just get in there. Just throw at them, I guess. Pile on. Oh, they're getting getting destroyed there. Oh, great weapons. So yeah, I guess that's gonna do it. Actually, fight Morgus. You go help. Trader things over there. Oh, it's chaos ball. Yeah, no. So the mortis engine is not gonna work work on on chaos ball. You just have to grind them down as intended. Let's pile up on on mortar. you some crazy ass damage. Oh. I'll just give it to you. Pile up on them. So where's Oxyotl? Oh, you stop throwing things. Just come over here and hang out. He shamefully lost the challenge and his reinforcement, reinforcement now joins us. Oh. What was that? Who was that? There was something coming in. Okay, so now Oxyol comes, but we get some reinforcement. <laughs> We're just gonna sacrifice a bunch of uh, uh, flagellants. Ah, oh, but here's the lizard men. Now the Taurox versus uh, versus Oxyotl can begin. So are we gonna line us up? Oh, they are. Oh, they put up a nice meat wall for us. So this. Oh, these are the prisoners. Oh, so they're yeah, they're super weak. <laughs> we gotta kill two thousand of them. Um, let's. Yeah, I guess target that. I don't, doesn't look like they have that many. This isn't Oxyotl either. Where is he?
Oh, this is just prisoners. So, you get in and slaughter. You're not gonna do that, though. So, does any of these have the... Oh, these are unbreakable, so... That Jabra's Life banner really didn't help. <laughs> Everything is unbreakable. Let's bunch these up a little bit. And point that against the lizard man. And let's pop this up. Yeah, go belly flop on them. Go Jabber's Knight. Belly flop to victory. Yeah, okay, so we still need to kill all those as well. So start throwing stuff. Throw it under red crested skinks. You can just deal a lot of damage. Like so. It's gonna do good, I think. Chariot's gonna be nice. So they're gonna have fun with these for a bit. You can take them when they when they get here. You're not firing. Why aren't you firing? Actually, shoot into the solar spear. That's good. Oh, some more Unger spears coming in. So, the prisoner count, count is going down quickly. Well, jump into that, I think. There's basically nothing left in those, so jump into that. So, it's a pretty interesting battle mechanic at least. This murder stuff. Just go nuts on these basically just punching bags until this is satisfied, which then I guess Oxyadol is gonna come, maybe? Yes. Stir, big herdstone stir. Because now something will happen. We're gonna get a bunch of demons. Give us beautiful demons. Give us a bunch of jabber slides. Uh, that would be good. Oh, it's spawns a gorgon. It's a couple of cygors. Okay, so mostly spawns and gorons. There's Oxyadol. Now the fight begins. So where's Oxy? There he is. Yes, yeah, so we need to fight our way through this. Line up. Line up. Except. There's so those two, yeah. So, line up with him. You can stand there. Fire at will. I don't know. Oh, right, I turned it off right at the end of the first part of the battle. So, everyone, gather, gather up. So we're just gonna regroup and I guess help these guys when when we've regrouped enough. Okay. Now I guess we have to move up a little bit. Oh, he's very red. Oh, it's a Gorgon of Corn. Nice. Neat. I like it. Uh, 
There's a lot of stuff here. Oh, can get rid of some ammo. Come on, cast already. Okay, right, good. And just start shooting. Here's our front line. So, get in there. Just pile on in. Everyone get in there. Send you at the Dredsorian. All of you at the Dredsorian. Bring him down. We're gonna just throw down the Crater King right there. Get a Sigor going. Do we know where Oxyodl is? Where is Oxyodl? There he is. Shoot him. Get a good hit or something. Because they're quite spread out. We are gonna get one of these as well. They're not doing anything. Get in there. Fight. You get after them. Or him. And you're getting destroyed. Actually, can you get in? No, there's no way you can get. Oh! Lock him down, come on! Okay, never mind. Yeah, so these are gonna start breaking. Yes, keep putting down Trader Kings. Oh, the Minotaurs is doing good damage to Oxyodl. Yeah, it's not, it's not that dangerous in close combat, so. Oh, I'm losing some, some guys over here. Crater, can you? Oh, good job. Nicely done, Jabber Slyth. I didn't even tell you to do that. But I'm glad you did. Just... Okay. Um, yeah, sure. I'm just hitting stuff. Get that. Oh, they sent in a doom, uh, a bull after him too. Yeah, so I think they're completely done for now. Yeah, there we go. It wasn't a very hard b battle, but it was fun. I liked the part when there was just flagellants coming in in a train and we were just murdering until Korn sent us a bunch of demons. So that was fun. And the Minotaur's got so many kales. Just send them in and have them go to work. It was a very messy battle. But I feel like that's just how Beastmen works. They're not very structured. 
Just send them in in a blob. So I think that's the end. Do we win? I think the so. The brass bull roars in triumph, for the ritual is complete. With the cold one slain, an age of nightmares shall be unleashed upon this mortal world. The herd bellows victorious. Endless slaughter awaits them. And... There we go. Now we win. And I don't think we need to see this because it's basically just things are gonna disappear. <laughs> so, you can see if there's any fun statistics. So we did gather a lot. We had a lot at the end because we didn't have that much to spend it on anymore except for the other armies but it it didn't really matter because we were basically done with the campaign so I couldn't be bothered and is there anything else I fought 28 battles so about average two per episode which I think is about what we did yeah And yeah, so yeah, that's the that's the entire campaign with Torox. It was a fun campaign. I feel like this stretch was a little bit annoying because once we finished this, and mind you, I destroyed almost everything. I didn't go in here but I don't think that would have been enough either. So I destroyed almost everything on this continent. I didn't go north but I mean then we'd have to go north and then all the way to the south and it wasn't enough so we had to go here and I felt like it would have been nice if we were done when we were do uh, down here ish but I mean Maybe you were supposed to be done when you got down there. I don't know. Either way, it was a very fun campaign. The quest battles were pretty fun. I still want to know more ag about Sportacus. But, yeah. It was fun. I like Torox. I love the new Beastman rework. It just... it They work great now. They're just fun to play. Although... I gotta say, Beastman in general isn't my most favorite uh, faction. Just because, I mean, I like the Minotaurs and the monsters and stuff, but I feel like it most it almost becomes just mosh pity for me. I like to have some archers co uh, and artillery, and you protect the archer line and artillery with your infantry and heroes and get some big monsters and stuff. But they're okay. But yeah, fun campaign. And I'm gonna end it there. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series in general. And if you did, consider leaving a comment and subscribing. So I don't know what, what I'll play next, but I guess you'll see. Bye bye. <laughs>